everyone. We're glad to be back with the latest Tazi news, and here they are. More than 17 people died after landfall in the Philippines. Manila and nearby towns braced for tropical storm Nalgae, which has killed 72 people, mostly because of landslides in southern provinces of the Philippines. The Southeast Asia Nations Disaster Agency says at least 72 people died after checking reports from ground staff, including rescue workers, searching for 18 missing persons. In videos posted on social media, swollen rivers overflowed into surrounding areas and flooded roads. The tropical storm, which has maximum sustained winds of 95 km or 60 miles per hour and gusts of up to 130 km per hour or 80 miles per hour, has made multiple landfall in the eastern Philippines. The Philippines sees an average of 20 tropical storms annually. In December, Category 5 Typhoon Ray ravaged central provinces, leaving 407 dead and more than 1,100 injured. Residents clean up after tropical storm flooded Philippines. The country's disaster agency said the death toll from flooding and rain-induced landslides in the Philippines has climbed to 72 and 22 others recorded missing after a tropical storm inundated many parts of the archipelago. The government data showed 40 people were reported injured while nearly 170,000 individuals have been displaced and were sheltering in evacuation centers as tropical storm Nalgai exited land areas after barreling across the country over the weekend, including capital Manila. Most of the casualties were recorded in the southern autonomous region of Bangsamoro, where 40 died with 10 still missing due to landslides. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. ordered urgent aid distribution in hard-hit areas. The Philippine Weather Bureau said Nalgai was tracking westward toward the South China Sea, where it could re-intensify into a typhoon while heading toward southern China. Hanoi youths from all walks of life expect closer China and Vietnam ties. Many young people in Hanoi hope to future develop China-Vietnam ties as they speak highly of the long history of friendly relations between the two countries. They expressed the expectations while speaking to China Global Television Network in interviews ahead of the official visit of the General Secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam Central Committee, Nguyen Put Trong, to China, scheduled from Sunday at the invitation of Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the Communist Party of China Central Committee and Chinese President. As uh, I know, we have a long time and long-term relationship between uh, our country and China because we close. We also have a very long history with each other, which means that our culture could somehow more to exclusive with each other. So that we can learn a lot from them and them also learn like the characteristic of each market is kind of similar. Um, our relationship much more better and in Vietnam, Vietnamese people, we really admire and really like a Chinese culture so we may exchange more about them. And also said hopes to see more bilateral exchanges in the future. Others are expecting more trade and cooperation between the two nations. Many have highlighted the China-Vietnam friendship while expressing expectations for further strengthened ties in the future. Pets and their humans rest up for Manila's Halloween show. Dozens of Filipino pet owners and their fury companions dressed up for an annual Halloween pet costume show in Manila on Sunday, October 30. Some participants donned matching costumes with their pets, from iconic fairy tale characters to pop culture icons in front of the crowd. Student Kristen Katendik joined the costume show to make friends with other pet owners along with her Pomeranian companion, Butterscotch. It took her a week to make the costume, but said the effort was worth it. Ana Carrera, spokesperson of the Philippine Animal Welfare Society and organizer of the event, said 
The costume show not only helps strengthen the bonds between the owner and their animal companion, but also highlight the importance of proper pet upbringing. South Korean President Yoon visits site of St. Pete that killed more than a hundred people. South Korea's President Yoon suk yeol visited the site of a stampede that killed at least 153 people. Yoon declared a period of national mourning after a Halloween crash killed mostly teenagers and young adults in a packed nightlife area in Seoul. Emergency officials said a huge crowd celebrating Halloween in the popular Itaewon district surged into an alley and adding that the dead toll could rise. A briefing at the scene said a further 76 people were injured in the melee, said Choi Sung Beom, head of the Yongsang Fire Station. The official said 19 of the injured were in serious conditions and receiving emergency treatment. <laughs> Family and friends search for missing loved ones in Seoul Halloween Stampede. Families and friends of the people remained missing from the Halloween Stampede in South Korea, awaited news for their loved ones after at least 153 were killed in the tragedy. At the community center in Seoul, anxious and saddened individuals arrived to find out more information of those who were uncontactable. Another 82 people were injured, and most of the victims were teenagers and people in their 20s. 19 foreigners from China, Iran, Uzbekistan, and Norway were also killed in the stampede. Nathan Taverniti, an Australian national living in Seoul, was in Itaewon with three other friends at the time of the incident. There were waves of people clogging the narrow alley as the emergency services took a while to arrive. The Taiwan district is popular with young South Koreans and expatriates alike. Its dozens of bars and restaurants were packed in the city's first Halloween event in three years after the country lifted COVID-19 restrictions and social distancing. Pope Francis prays for victims of South Korea crash and Somalia bomb blast. Pope Francis prayed for the victims of deadly crowd surge in Seoul's Itaewon district and for the victims of Somalia's capital Mogadishu blast. Let us also pray to the risen Lord of those especially young people who died tonight in the Seoul from the tragic consequences of the sudden crash crowd. Emergency officials said at least 153 people, mostly teenagers and young adults in their 20s, were killed in the crash when a huge crowd celebrating Halloween surged into an alley in a nightlife area of South Korean capital Seoul. Speaking to pilgrims and tourists in St. Peter's Squares for his weekly blessing, Francis also prayed for victims of car bombs in Mogadishu. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed said two car bombs exploded at Somali's Education Ministry next to a busy market intersection killing at least 100 people and wounding 300 and officials warning that the toll could rise. Chinese president sends condolences to South Korean president over a stampede in Seoul. Chinese President Xi Jinping sent a message of condolence to South Korean President Yoon suk yeol over a stampede in South Korean capital Seoul, which caused heavy casualties. In his message, she said he was shocked to learn of the stampede. On behalf of the Chinese government and the people, she extended deep condolences over the deaths and sincere sympathies to the bereaved families and injured. Several Chinese citizens were unfortunately killed or injured in the accident. She expressed in his hope that the South Korean side will make every effort to treat those injured and handle the follow-up matters properly. On the same day, Chinese Premier Lee Kishian also sent a message of condolence to South Korean Prime Minister Han duk -so. Well, thank you for watching everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy your weekend with a loved one. We will see you soon.